So I welcome you to the lecture series on digital image processing and today our topic will be order statistics filter. So in the last lecture you have seen that we are going through different mean filters okay and those are also very important especially their unique characteristics are very important. Now Today, we will deal with some spatial filters. Spatial filters based on ordering the pixel values that make up the neighborhood defined by the filter support. So this is very important that spatial filters are based on ordering of the pixel values. Okay, and that make up the neighborhood defined by the filter support. So basically, through this different type of spatial filter, we will try to reorder the pixel values. So first questions for today's class is that what do you understand by spatial filter? Comment your answer and your next question will be asked at the end of this video. So we have different spatial filters and they are median filter, max and min filter, midpoint filter, alpha trimmed mean filter so these are very important and frequently used in different image pre-processing tasks okay so especially median filter max mean filter midpoint filter they are very important now coming to the median filter the equation for the median filter is this one fxy is equal to median of ZST where ST belong to our particular window as XY. Okay, so do remember that while applying this type of filters, as I have already told you that we try to reorder the pixel values, we try to arrange the pixels values. Okay, in some order. So here maximum time we will deal with window. Window means in the whole image, we may divide into several windows like 3 cross 3 window. Okay, so we will first consider that particular window that is say 3 cross 3. And in that window, whatever the pixels values will be there, we'll try to rearrange them. And then we come to the next window. Similarly, we'll continue the process until the whole image will be covered. So, as I have said that we will target one pixel value that is supposed to be a noise. So, in case of median filter, that value will be replaced by the median. And you all know that what is median. So, can you tell me what is median? If you can, please comment it. So, now, median filter, you have seen that equation is this one. And first of all, you have to note down the characteristics of every filter. Now, median filter has the characteristic is that it is very excellent at noise removal without the smoothing effects that can occur with other smoothing filters. So it can noise, it can remove the noise without having the smoothing effects. That's a plus point. And one more point that you have to note down that it is very good for salt and pepper noise removal okay repeating you again median filter is very good for removing salt and pepper noise now coming to the max and min filter max filter means whenever the this type of filter will apply in a particular window we try to re the replace that targeted pixel with the maximum value so say fxy, then fxy is what? Max of zst where st belongs to sxy. Similarly, mean filter. In this case, the reverse thing will happen. Means we'll replace that fxy with minimum of zst. st belongs to sxy. So from this, it is very clear that they have different characteristics. So max filter is good for pepper noise and min filter is good for salt noise. Okay, so I again want to ask one question, especially this, is, this will be a case study for you, that 
what is pepper noise and what is salt noise and in which conditions pepper noise may occur or may come to an image and in which conditions mean pillow means salt noise will come to an image okay so make a case study on that then coming to the midpoint filter so when you got max filter and min filter that is very easy for you to find out the midpoint filters value that is the targeted pixel will be now half of maximum of zst st belongs to sxy plus minimum of st belongs to xxy of zst okay so maximum value find out minimum value find out and then add them then divide it by p clear now its characteristic is that it is good for random gaussian and uniform noise okay so again try to find out that what is gaussian noise and what is uniform noise at least you try today and don't worry i will arrange one special lecture to talk about to discuss about different types of noises we may face in an image processing operations okay that our images are being suffered from now coming to the alpha trim filter and the equation for alpha trimmed mean filter is that fxy is equal to 1 by mn minus d summation grst where st belongs to sxy now you should note down that here we can delete the d by 2 lowest and d by 2 highest gray values and grst represents the remaining m minus mn minus d pixels mn means you know the total pixels will be mn and then d mn minus d pixels will be represented by grst clear now let's see some examples we'll consider one image that will add salt and pepper noise at 0 0.2 density this is the image corrupted means uh, by salt and pepper noise okay and we are keeping the density at 0 0.2 now it's the result this one is the result of one pass with a three cross three median filter you'll see almost removed means that salt and pepper noise are almost removed then again this is the result of two passes with three cross three median filter then again it is being replaced means uh, filtered that three cross three median filter so this is the result of three passes of a three cross three median filter clear so we try to pass the corrupted image to our median filter pass by pass means first pass then output of that pass again filtered like that so three passes after three passes we got this result and you can see that this is being means what the Im corrupted images uh, are being recovered to its great extent and this is being affected by salt and pepper noise now first one is the image corrupted by pepper noise then this one is the image corrupted by solid noise as you know that when it is corrupted by pepper noise we will apply max filter and when it is corrupted by salt noise we will apply min filter and the results are in front of you you can see that what is the means uh, output of this respective filters with respect to the different types of noises clear then we have image one image corrupted by uniform noise then again corrupted by salt and pepper noise now first filter it by arithmetic mean filter then that image is being filtered by five cross <coughs> five geometric mean filter that this arithmetic mean and geometric mean we have discussed so you see the output now this that image is being filtered by median filter you will see the difference in the output you see that median filter output is better again we try to filter it through a 5 cross 5 alpha trimmer mean filter with d is equal to 5 that's output is far better so you will see the difference in the output so now today's last question is that what is the characteristics of median filter comment your answer take care bye bye